This week, our hero plans to start the day off on top. But as usual, even the universe tries to prove that Dave is a jerk. <laughs> <clears throat> For legal purposes, they're forcing me to clarify that my previous statement is referring to Dave wanting to start with a topwater lure, but the fish forced him to switch to a jerk bait. There he ate it. Oh, it's a better one, too. <laughs> Look at that big Christmas ham. That is a stud. Every fish is different. You gotta give them different things, and you're gonna get some bigger ones. I'm Dave Mercer, pro angler, an all-round fishing big mouth. Today, I've got one day on one body of water, and I am surrounded by cameras. Unfortunately for me, but fortunately for you, they're gonna show you everything that happens, and I mean everything. Son of a- Welcome to Facts of Fishing, the show. Brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Shimano, technology you can feel. Yamaha, conquer water. Live Target Lures. Jackal, eat, sleep, jackal. And Rigid Industries LED Lighting. We run rigids, do you? Without further ado, here he is. I can't say this. Just read the script. The world's greatest angler, Dave Mercer. First cast of the day, are you kidding me? Oh, excuse me if I got a little fired up, but you know, when beautiful sunrise, flat calm, and on the very first cast of the day, I get busted on. You get you a little jacked up. Timid, timid for the top water so far. They'll bust below it, but they won't eat it. There's no more fun way to catch anything than get done top water. But the thing I know about fish is no matter when you think you got them pegged, they show you you don't. So you think we want that? No, sucker. We want something totally different. Man, I want them to eat this. I mean, I want them to want the top water, but they gotta want to want the top water. I mean, they're willing to blow up under it, but they just haven't eaten it yet today. I got smoked. Come here, dude. One hook, of course. Oh, came off. Came off, came off. I'm gonna hit my talons down. Good one too. Oh, came off. Oh, you think I'm fired up this morning? Okay, I gotta remain calm, make sure my hooks are good, and get back in there. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> he ducked that top water. Man, finally found one that I did not pull the hooks off or haven't as of yet, but they are just stacked in there. Punch on that dude, not a giant. He is no giant. But I'll tell you what, I'll take him. Keep blowing up on my bait, and then I get two that just dust it. Whew, and I pull the hooks right out of his yap. He's no giant, but I'll take him. Let's see ya. Maybe they're feeling jerky.
There he is. Got him. Got him. He's not a big one, but I got him. Ate my little jerk bait, didn't ya? Didn't ya? Not quite ready for the top water, but you'll eat that little jerk bait. And that is the whole deal with no matter what you're fishing for, give them what they want. Way too often people are like me and they give them what we want, but it is my professional opinion. The results will always be better if you give them what they want rather than what you want. <sighs> a few bugs out here. Have you noticed? There we go. Another one. Another one ate it. Ugh. Man, they are just swatting at it today. I was just swatting at it. I'll loosen my drag a little bit, maybe. Maybe. That's more like it. There we go. Got him. Oh, take my time with this fish because my hook to land ratio, a little bit off right now. Bulldog. See, always learning. Always making adjustments. Get up in here. Always, always make adjustments, not just with your baits. But you know, a lot of times, I've got to go out and you'll lose a few fish. You know, right away, boom, 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 you'll lose a few fish and you blame it on the fish. Don't blame it on the fish. Make adjustments yourself, whether it's a change of baits or just loosen off your drag and slowing down and calming yourself down. <sighs> Get in touch with your happy place. It's where we all want to be, isn't it? See ya. Another one behind it. <laughs> uh, come here, dude. And if you're betting that the other one behind it was bigger, well, you bet right. Because the other one behind it is always bigger. Get up in here. No big ones yet, though. You know there's got to be a big El Grande sitting in there. There we go. Another one. Ooh, this might be a better one. Come here, dude. It's not a better one, it's just hooked funny. Come on. Where's Big Mama? You know, it's pretty easy to see why these fish are in this area. You know, an immense amount of current rolling through here. And basically what we have is, other end of that stream, there's a whole other lake, but this lake dumps into here. And when the fish are here, they're here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to eat. I mean, they don't come in here to just lounge around and relax. They come in here to munch, munch. And us as anglers, that is a good thing. These fish don't have to work hard at all. Basically, they just sit there in that current, and the food comes down right in front of their yap. There we go. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> you think there's a whack in there? I would think so. A little bit bigger. We're still looking for a giant though. That is far from a giant. It's a good one. Don't tell your friends we're coming. Get on my knees and pray for the big bite. There we go. Were my prayers answered? I got a bite. How many casts in a row am I gonna make and catch a fish? We got one problem and one problem only. There's a whack of fish in there. The water must be cold. Are these dudes, they're suffering from significant shrinkage. Ooh, biggies. Oh no, I haven't caught one in this cast. Is my streak over? One of the major keys with this type of fishing is watching your line. Uh, I, I'm throwing braided line. I, I don't want any stretch in that line. I want a deliberate pop when I jerk that bait. But I'm also throwing Power Pro Super Slick, and this is the Aqua Green. So you see how bright that line color is? That allows me to watch that line. So when I'm killing that bait, anytime you're killing the bait, 
and, and dead stick in that bait, basically. You want to watch that line, because sometimes it can be as subtle as just your line going there we go. an inch or so. You see any movement in that line and set the hook. Because, like you've heard me say seven bajillion times, hook sets are free. You think there's not a whack of fish in there? Oh, you know there's a whack of fish when you start hooking them in the tail. <laughs> Look at this dude right here. <laughs> that was an unintentional snaggery. Come here, dude. Oh, whoa. They fight harder when you hook them in the tail. Come here. <laughs> like I said, you know you're fishing in a good area when you start hooking them in the tail. There must be a whack of fish, and basically they're fighting over it. And this dude got it in the tail. I'm sorry, buddy. See ya. <laughs> there is a pile of fish up in there. When you're working your bait in a water outflow like this, it's real important to think of how the fish are positioned. You know they're all nose into that current, waiting for a meal to come along. So when I'm working this little bait ball jerk bait, I'm giving it a very intentional pause. So I'll cast out there, crank it a few times to get it down, then pop, pop, and then let it sit. Pop, pop, and let it sit. You know, looking like an injured or wounded bait fish. And if you're sitting down there, if you're a bass, it's an easy meal. They see it float by and they eat it. And I, I like it. Eat it. One came up. Whoop. There he ate it. <laughs> he came back. <laughs> oh, it's a better one too. You see them roll on your bait out there and just let it keep running. I mean, rather than crank it back, I mean, you lose a fish a lot of times, uh, you want to crank it back to the boat, but just remain calm. She will come back. There's another one down there with her. Oh boy. Look at that other one. I can see a giant one underneath it. There's two underneath. There's two fish underneath this fish. One, one tiny, tiny little hook in her. Stay on, girl. One hook in her. This is a big one, too. Oh. Whew. There is a whack of fish up in here. And dude, the two that were with it were much bigger than this. These dudes are absolute powerhouses. And after seeing how many are down there, it pays to be a tank. If you want to eat in this neighborhood, you need to be aggressive. Mm. I'm a jerky jerk. Be good. Look, I'm following it. Oh, why didn't you eat it? Hey, you know, when you find a little pod of fish that we've obviously found here this morning, never ever leave that area without throwing several different presentations. Started with the top water, got a few, went to the jerk bait and mashed them. But I'm gonna throw a crankbait through there. It's a different area of the water column. And we may just get a different result now that they've slowed down a little bit on me. I don't like it when they slow down. Looking for big lazy. You know that guy. He wants a piece of pizza. He's just not willing to get off the couch and get it. Come on, I know you're looking at it. Come on, crankbait, don't make me a liar. And this little eye shad, maybe just the ticket. This is a cool rig. Come on, I want one biggie to eat this. Make the story so much cooler. Fish. There we go. Drop that little eye shad under there. <laughs> Give him something a little bit different to look at. Oh. Awesome, awesome fish. Bait is right down his yap. Look how they eat that little eye shad. How cool is that? Oh. Get this fish back in the water. <clears throat> Oh. 
to the coolest thing about this little bait. This is a jackal eye shad, and basically the whole deal is nothingness. You know, there's very little action to this bait. It's supposed to look like a bait fish. I mean, they're not gonna dart around and do crazy things. If they're injured or wounded, they're just gonna float along. That's exactly what this little eye shad does. The bumps all along the side of it gives it a lot of vibration under the water, but you basically cast this out and just slowly creep it back. And uh, fish, as we've said many times, opportunistic feeders, when they see this bad boy fall in front of them, the only thing they know to do is eat. Ow, I have a twitch bait in my finger. Why couldn't that have been a five pounder? There's this. This is a better one too. This is a big one. <laughs> this is the big fish we were looking for. Sometimes you throw that different bait, you get through that area, and you think there's no more. I mean, I've caught them all, but sometimes changing up that bait, what you need to do, and it is precisely oh, what we did to get this dude in the boat. Oh. Look at that big Christmas ham. That is a stud smallmouth, no matter where you go. And the cool thing is I work baits over them all morning. Every fish is different. You gotta give them different things. But boy, the worst feeling in the world would be leaving this spot, knowing there's a bunch of fish down there and you didn't exhaust every option. Oh, well, that's what we're doing here today. With that jackal eye shad. I like it. I like it a lot. Evidently, the fishing is pretty good at La Reserve Beauchene because even Dave can catch fish there. If you want a fishing trip of a lifetime, contact La Reserve Beauchene at Beauchene.com. Brought to you by Rigid Industries LED Lighting, makers of the Brandon Polinick Signature Series Boat Deck Light Kit. He runs Rigid's. Do you? The key ingredient with this approach is something I don't have a lot of, and that's patience. You don't want to pop and twitch and rip that bait. I mean, it's a slow, steady retrieve. And you're not even going to feel a lot at the end of your bait. I mean, it's not like a crankbait where you feel that thump, thump, thump on the way back. It's a very, very subtle. Every once in a while, you feel that rod load up. And that's what you're doing it for. As long as that happens, that's all the action I need. Friggin' ninja. Chunky ninja. Oh, gotcha. Smoked that little eye shad and a good one, too. Oh, that right there is a pretty decent fish. An awesome technique with some pretty awesome results. See you later. Go. Fish. Oh, this is not a bass. We're on to a different creature. It's an angry critter. Gator. Gator munched my jerk bait. He's got more in him, I know it. Playing possum. Gator is acting way too nice. You've lulled me into thinking I should grab you, but. Uh, told you! I told you! He was not ready. I knew it. Oh my word. Oh. It's not a giant, but that's pretty thick gator. Just about the size that I like catching. Any smaller than this, and they're a hammer handle. But once they start to get this size, they could be fun. I'm just happy I got my bait back. How's that for a release? Professional, why do you ask? Slime. There you go. We're in Pike Central. Found the pike pattern. Oh, good one. Ah, it's not as good as I thought. He just hit it like he was a good one. Get in there and grow. I'm going to hate the eye shad. <laughs> hey, if they're not going to eat the jerk bait, 
I'll throw them the eye shad, and if they don't eat the eye shad, I'll throw them the jerk bait again. See ya. Oh, this guy is gonna clear up this afternoon, honestly. There we go. Another one. <laughs> See ya. There he is. You got a big one too. <laughs> Easy, dude. Oh, this is a scarred up beast. Look at that dude. You think he wanted that? Oh, God. He absolutely annihilated, but that is a big, ugly, beat up war horse. See ya. Oh. You know, some days there's one thing that works, and then there's days like today that a bunch of different things work, but at least we figured something out that works. Dave fished for five hours and 47 minutes, made 618 casts that resulted in an impressive 18 fish. And that's the score. Now it's time for the facts. The majority of this week's fish inhaled a live target bait ball jerkbait fished on a 6 foot 10 medium action Shimano Crucial jerkbait rod paired up with a Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus that was spooled up with 15 pound Aqua Green Power Pro Super Slick with a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. After all the active fish stopped eating, Dave slowed down a bit and switched up to a Jackal Eye Shad fished on a 7 foot 2 medium Shimano Crucial paired up with a Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus spooled up with 15 pound Timber Brown Power Pro Super Slick with a 10 foot 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. And that's the facts.